We are asked to draw the shear and moment diagram for the compound beam shown in the figure. Assume that the point A is fixed and C is a roller and B is pin connection. No? So, for this, i-check muna natin kung determinate ba ito or hindi. Pero pag ito ay determinate, then pwede natin itong masolve. Pag ito ay indeterminate, magantay tayo ng structural theory pa rin natin. So, for this, kung titingnan natin, we have to count the number of reactions. At point A, we have three reactions kasi fix ito. So, we have here AY, we have the AX, we have the moment at A. And dito sa hinge, meron tayo yung dalawa kasi internal hinge yan. And dito sa C, meron tayo dito isa vertical, CY. So, we have total of tatlo dito, isa doon, so total of six. The number of reactions is equal to six. The number of members, since this is compound, this is one member. So, this is one member and this is another member. So, meron tayong dalawang member. And for the formula, we have here, R should be equal to 3N. So, ang reaction natin is 6. And we have here 3 times 2, that's equal to 6. No? So, 6 is equal to 6. This is statically determinate. Okay? So, since determinate siya, titingnan natin which side tayo magsisimula. Kung kukunin natin yung segment AB, no, uh, meron tayo ditong limang reaction. Kasi po, kung nandito tayo, meron tayo ditong tatlo, si AY, and we have here AX, and you have the moment at A, and then we have here the BY and the BX. So, lima yung announce natin dyan. Hindi natin yun masusol. So, kung dito tayo sa kabila, meron tayong BY, meron tayong BX, and then we have the CY upward. Na? So, tatlo lang yung ating announce dito, pwede na natin masolve ito. So, for the moment, kung titignan natin dito, we have the 30 kN clockwise, and then minus CY. Ito yung CY natin, bakit kasi 1.5? 15 yan. So, CY multiplied by 15 is equal to 0. So, your CY is equal to 2 kilo newton upward. And for summation of the forces vertical is equal to 0, taking the upward direction is positive. So, we have here the BY na assume natin dyan na upward. And we have the CY na 2 kilo newton upward. This is equal to negative 2 kilo newton. So, it shows here that BY, since negative siya, it is not directed upward. It is directed downward. Okay? So, next for the X. So, measure the forces along horizontal is equal to 0. Since wala namang kalaban si BX, then BX is equal to 0. Okay? So, proceed tayo dito sa left side. Ito yung free body diagram natin dyan. We have here the AY. We have here the AX. And the moment at A. And this distance here is equal to 24. So, meron tayong 12 dito. At meron tayong 8 kN na load sa gitna. Then, titingnan natin yung nature no, ng reaction ng BY. As you can see here, dito sa right side or right portion ng beam natin, no, dito sa right portion ng beam natin, yung BY natin is directed downward. So, kapag siya ay transfer natin sa kabila, since downward siya dito, ay upward na siya dito sa kabila. And this is 2 kilo newton. Okay? Since our BX is equal to 0, so wala nang BX dyan. Okay? So, unahin natin yung moment. Summation of bagong kilay. Summation of moment at A is equal to 0, taking the clockwise direction, direction as positive. So, we have here the negative moment at A kasi in natin na siya ay counterclockwise. Plus 8 
multiply by the distance 12 perpendicular sa kanya. And then this 2 here will create counterclockwise rotation. No? Kasi ito yung paikot niya. That's counter. The 8 naman is clockwise. So we have here 2 multiplied by 24 is equal to 0. So computing for the value of the moment at A, we have negative x para kay moment at A plus 8 times 12 minus 2 times 24 which is equal to 0. Keep told. And we have 48. So the moment at A is equal to 48 kilonewton. So we have here 48 kilonewton meter rather kasi moment. Ngayon, kung titingnan natin, positive yung lumabas na sagot. So since positive yung lumabas na sagot, tama yung assumption natin na yung moment at A is directed counterclockwise. So inonote natin dito na yung moment at A natin is counterclockwise. Okay? So if we are going to summate forces vertical is equal to 0, we have here the AY minus 8 plus 2 is equal to 0. Since tatlo lang naman sila yung mga vertical forces, no? si AY, si 8, at saka itong 2. Then, we have here AY is equal to negative 8 and 2, that's Kulayan ko lang to. Moment at A, tapos ito. Okay? Then, if we are going to summate forces horizontal is equal to 0, taking the direction to the right as positive, uh, in-assume natin yung AX pakaliwa that is supposed to be negative, pero kung nakikita natin, nag-iisa lang naman siya na horizontal force, so meaning the AX is equal to 0. And it's time for us now to draw our two end moment diagram since nakuha na natin yung mga reactions. So this is <coughs> upward na 6 kN. And then yung moment natin, this is 48. And then for the C, Y, we have kilonewton. Tanong, Sir, makaka-apekto ba yung value natin sa BY? Kasi po, meron tayong BY. Maapektuhan niya ba yung shear diagram? Hindi po ang sagot doon. Bakit? Kasi dito sa left side ng beam natin, as you can see, meron tayo dito upward na 2 kilonewton. Sa right side natin, meron tayong downward na 2 kilonewton. Kapag pinagdugtong na natin itong compound beam na to, itong reaction natin dito sa internal hinge natin ay mag-dissipate na. Wala na siyang reaction. So, zero na siya. Kasi opposite naman yung reaction sa kabilang part sa kabilang part ng ating compound beam. Okay? So, nagagamit lang talaga natin siya in completing for the reaction sa magkabilang beam. So, i-drawing na tayo. Lalagay tayo ng line dito sa may concentrated load. Tapos, uh, maglagay din tayo dito. And, sa dulo. Ayan. So, for the shear diagram. So, we have here the 6 kN. We have here the 6 kN upward. So, aakyat tayo ng 6. And that is 6 kN. And as you can see here, wala tayong load between point A and dito sa point na to. So, dire-diretso lang yung diagram natin. Pagdating dito, meron tayong 8 kN. So, ibababa niya. 6 minus 8. So, bababa tayo dito. And that magnitude is negative 2. No? So, binaba ni concentrated load na 8. Ayan siya. Tapos wala na naman tayong load sa pagitan nito at hanggang doon sa dulo. So, dire-diretso lang itong negative 2 hanggang siya ay makarating sa dulo. And we have here 2 kN upward. So, yan yung mag-aangat at mag-close ng ating diagram. So, therefore, this is now our shear diagram.
diagram. So, madali lang magawa ng shear diagram. Medyo tedious lang yung computation natin. Yung sari actions natin. Okay? So, pag din dito, magdodrawing na tayo ng moment. This is our shear diagram and this is our moment diagram. Okay? So, let's start with the moment. Meron tayong 48 kN and that's counterclockwise. So, ibig sabihin, yan ay negative. So, bababa tayo ng 48. And this is negative 48. Bakit hindi ko na in-indicate yung negative dito? No? Naka-note naman dito, nakikita nyo naman yung direction dito na counterclockwise. So, automatic yun ay denoted as negative moment. And for this, we are going to compute this area 1 kasi yung gagamitin natin para makompute natin ang moments natin dito sa point na to. Na? So, pangalanan natin tong M1. For M1, that is equal to area 1. No? But of course, you have to subtract that or to add that pala sa negative 48. Kasi ang area 1 natin is positive moment, ay no positive area, and this is negative moment, so negative to, positive naman yung area 1. Si area 1, that is equal to 6 times 12. Okay? So, tingnan natin. We have here, negative 48 plus 6 times 12. And that is equal to 24. So, meaning, the M1 is equal to 24. And it's positive. No? Hindi siya dun sa baba. Sa taas siya. So, dito ay positive 24. So, i-coconnect natin siya galing dito. Since ito ay degree 0. No? Kung titignan natin, degree 0 yung curve natin. Yung ano natin dyan. Yung equation. So, dito siya ay magiging degree 1 na. Ayan na siya. And, inunote natin to na degree 1. Lalagay natin. And for this, we have here our area 2. Actually, ang area 2 natin, pwede na natin i-direct. So, kasi wala naman tayo nakikita ng load dito sa point B. No? So, ang makukumpute nating moment dito is the moment at point C. That would be 24, yung last na moment natin. And, ima-minus natin kasi ito ay negative. No? Minus natin ng area 2. Ang area 2 natin ay 2 times... That's 12 and 15. So that's 27. Ayan. So magkakaroon tayo ng 24 minus 2 times 27. And that is equal to negative 30. So siya ay negative 30. So dito, babagsak siya ng negative 30. As you can see here, this is degree 0. So, dito degree 1 tayo. Co-connect natin ito. Ayan. Wait lang. Ayan. So, in here, this is degree 1. Wait lang, check ko lang ha. Baka... Okay. I-remind nyo ako pag nawawala yung share screen ko ha. Baka hindi ko na naman nakikita. And, kung makikita natin dito, meron tayong 30 kN na clockwise. So, that's upward. So, galing dito, aakyat tayo. At yun yung magpapasara sa kanya. So, zero pa rin yung moment natin. So, kukulayan na natin. And, ito na yung ating moment diagram. Okay? So, pwede naman natin i-confirm no? Pwede naman natin i-confirm ko talagang dito nagbagsak yung ano na to. Kung dito nagbagsak yung ayan yan, yung zero na yan. And dito, of course, i-compute din natin tong x na to para for the sake of the discussion lang. No? Since, ang goal lang naman natin is to draw the shear and moment diagram pero lubos-lubosin na natin. So for the maximum shear, the answer here is this, six kilonewton. For the maximum moment, no, pag maximum negative moment, the answer is negative 48 kilonewton meter. And for the maximum positive moment, the answer is 24 kilonewton meter. Okay? Ngayon, um, we have two, no? We have two locations for the point of inflection. 
Ito yung isa, no? Pangalan nating x sub 1. Yung isang point of inflection na ito, oh. Yan, hanggang doon. Ito. So, kung ito ay 12, pangalan na natin ang x sub 2. So, that would be 12 plus x sub 2. Okay? So, alamin natin tong mga distances na to. Para dito naman kay x sub 1, so, we have here by rates and proportion, x sub 1 is 248, is equal to, kung ito ay 12, so meaning this is 12 minus x sub 1. So, we have here 12 minus x sub 1 over, that is, ito tong part na to, 24. So, solving for the value of the x sub 1, then we have here, x is 248 is equal to 12 minus x over 24. So, shift solve equals, pwede mag set ng pen, 8. So, meaning this is 8 meters galing dun sa point A sa kaliwa. And kung kukumpitin naman natin itong x sub 2, kung ito ay x sub 2, no? hindi, hindi natin sure kung ano eh. Hindi natin sure kasi kung, kung siya ay ano talaga. Hindi natin sure kung siya ay dun talaga bumagsak. So, itong part na to, that is, total kasi nito ay 12 in uh, 15, that is 27. So, pwede natin sabihin na 27 ng x sub 2 itong kapila. Okay? So, confirm lang natin kung talagang sa 12 siya bumagsak. Kasi it looks like 12 dun sa tulisan natin. So, we have here the x sub 2 is to 24 is equal to 27 minus x sub 2 over 30 yung sa kabilang side. So, ang x sub 2 natin is equal to so x over 24 is equal to 27 minus x over 30. Then, shift solve equals and that will give us 12. No? So, it says here na talagang dun siya bumagsak sa 12 meters dito. Mismo, sa point B, nandun yung 0 na no? location. So, ang length nito, since x sub 2 here is equal to 12, meaning from the point A up to this second point of inflection, this is the total length of 24. No? So, 24 meters ang total Kasi that's 12 times 12 plus 12 rather. Na? So, yun yung mga possible questions na pwedeng lumabas kapag meron tayong ganitong problems.